I was doing a brake job and struts and ball joints on my wife's Jeep Liberty, and I discovered that my rotor was fused on. I tried beating on it with a mallet or a hammer. Now, first off, if you're going to do that, do not beat on the actual surface of the rotor. You want to you want to hit along the, uh, the the top hat portion of the rotor. You know, try to break it loose. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use this. That's all you really need. All right, I've already removed my, my caliper. You can see it's zip tied up out of the way here. And on the back of the, where the rotor is attached, you're gonna see these two holes in this, in this case. It may be different on your, on your vehicle, but most of them have two holes, almost like a bracket that your caliper will attach. And these two holes are gonna be instrumental in helping us get the rotor off as those bolts I mentioned earlier are going to end up slipping through here. Ultimately what we're going to have it do is it's going to push on the rotor. So first we're going to take a couple of washers and we're going to attach these washers. Not attach them, but slide them through the bolt rather. So they act as sort of a spacer. Now we're going to take our first nut and we're going to thread that on like so. Gonna want to push that back a little bit. All right, and that's gonna be kind of our, our tightening nut. And then this other nut is gonna act as sort of a, um, I don't know, plunger? I don't know what else you'd call that. That's the tricky part, I can't really see it. Ah, uh, I hate when that happens. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got the first one on there. All right, so, the trick is, the idea is, is you're going to put a wrench on this top one and a, and a socket on the back and you're going to, and when you tighten, like so, we're going to create force that pushes on the rotor. Okay, so now you're looking at our bottom hole. Uh, bottom hole. <laughs> so we got, we got the nuts in our bottom hole and the washers in our bottom hole because everybody needs washers for your bottom hole. And we got a bolt running right through it. Basically the same as the top. Let's see if we can't get that wonderful popping sound. The rust breaking loose. It's hold on our rotor. go. You hear that? That is music to my ears. That's what we want to hear. So after you hear that pop, go a couple more turns. We're actually making it move here. There it goes. All right, we got the rotor off. Minimal effort, no cussing. Didn't have to hit anything with a hammer, and no damage was caused other than a couple of scratches on the back of the rotor from the nut pushing on it, but you're gonna have these resurfaced, so no big deal. In the meantime, I got some struts and some ball joints to get to. Check out some of my other videos. Just subscribe, that'd be awesome. Or just search Ben Italis and Autofocus in YouTube search. All right, time to get back to work.